Le Correa. We're back for another episode. Uh, I just wanted to put it out there about my number change and my number history. Um, my first year in the NFL, got drafted by the Baltimore Ravens in the second round, pick number 42, a day that changed my life forever. Um, I was a 22 year old kid from Hawaii that had a dream of playing it in uh, the National Football League. So I give a big shout out to the Ravens uh, for drafting me. Um, while I was there for two years, I was number 51. I didn't really have much choice as a rookie. I just kind of gave in. Um, and that was the number that uh, they gave me. So I just kind of stuck with number 51. Going into my third year, I got traded to the Tennessee Titans. Um, when I got there, I was first given number 46. Um, I was there for the last preseason game. We were playing the Minnesota Vikings. And I didn't play in that game, but I was on the sideline and I wore that. Uh, the jersey. I didn't really like that number. So I went and talked to uh, the equipment guys there. Joey, Matt, Hoss, Lil John. Um, just a shout out to those guys. Uh, they always hold it down in the equipment room. Um, this year was a little bit of a change up. Got hit with a curveball. Uh, the Titans signed Vic. Vic, welcome to the fan. Glad to have you. Can't wait to get to work with you. He uh, he had worn number 44 with the Atlanta Falcons for his five years, I believe he was there. Uh, we just picked him up. He hit me up. Uh, he wanted that number. So I just gave him that number. Uh, the number 44 really wasn't too symbolic for me, so I didn't really have much much empathy about it. Um, yeah, I gave Vic number 44, and the equipment guys asked me, hey, I got a couple numbers uh, for you to pick, and they said the number, number 40 was available. So that kind of drew my eyes, and um, and I'm kind of growing in my faith, and the number 40 is very strong in the Bible. I'm not sure if y'all believers or not, but I'm a firm believer in the Bible, God, Holy Spirit, and Jesus. Um, so with that being said, I wanted to take my faith to the next level, and I feel like that was God's blessing. Uh, just kind of put in number 40 open for me. Uh, to use it. So, in my eyes, I picked number 40 to represent my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In the Bible, the number 40 is used quite often. Um, so, a little background on the number 40 in the Bible and Scripture. Uh, you guys all might know this story, knowing the ark. Um, God had flooded the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. Moses, most importantly, this is a very big one. Moses was on Mount Sinai for 40 days and 40 nights to receive God's law. God's law is a commandment. If you're a believer, that's the laws that you try to live by day in and day out. So, there's just a few quick stories. Um, if you guys want to know more, uh, you guys can hit me up. Or you guys can just get in your word and go check out some scripture. Um, um, if you want to share that with me, hit me up. Man, I'm more than willing to talk about uh, the word and whatnot, just do some fellowshipping. Um, 
But yeah, man, that's really why why I chose the number 40 for this year. So if you guys see some old pictures, 44, 51, this year I'm 40. Uh, the people that follow me might be like, dude, this dude's crazy. Oh, it changed his number. Hey, man, that's just the way life, life hits you. But yeah, man, that's just a little background of what used to be my number and why I'll be wearing the number 40 this year and so forth in my career to represent my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, I got my last name on my back. It means a lot to me. I hold it down for my family. First and foremost, I got the Tennessee Titans. Uh, these people believed in me. They still believe in me. So I thank them for giving me more opportunities to continue my playing career. And that number, for those of y'all that don't know, now you know. That's why I'm wearing number 40 this year. Follow your boy this year. Follow the Titans. We're about to make some more noise. Last year was last year. It's a new year. Can't wait to get back to the training camp and start the season with my guys. I miss all my dudes. Big shout out to the boys. That's just a little thing we say in the locker room. Um, yeah, man, I'm just excited to get back to training camp, start the season, get the ball rolling, put some highlights out there for y'all, and win some games, and win a Super Bowl, man. That's the whole goal. That's why we play. It's an honor God. So there you have it, folks. If you got any more questions, hop on social media, go follow all my platforms, and yeah, man, go give your boy a shout out, man. Wake up, sleepers. <laughs>